Hello world, this is What's Up to Niger here, and today I'm doing a, a, a tutorial on how to jailbreak an iOS 8.1.1 device from an actual Mac OS X machine. Um, unfortunately, I can't re directly record this off my screen because running Windows and running Mac and uh, running this program, running a screen recording software at the two time is at the same time is just too much. So, yeah. But you're gonna. There's some things you're gonna need to do this. Uh, you're gonna need a program called Parallels Desktop. You can use the, the um, the 30 day free trial. You can also you also need the Windows 10 Developer Kit or Developer Preview, uh, which is free. And I'll have a link to all these things in the description. Um, you you will need to in the pro this program called Tige. Uh, Tige, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but it's a Chinese jailbreaking program, and so far the only one that works on jailbreaking iOS 8.8.1. So, yeah. Um, if you need me to do a tutorial on how to install Windows in a virtual machine, let me know. I can't really do that in this video, otherwise this video will be way too long. And if you have any questions, let me know. So the first, oh yeah, and one more thing. You want to create a um, a backup of your iPhone on your iCloud or iTunes, whatever, before you do this. And you should know Apple service. I mean, Apple does not service any jailbroken device, so you want to plug it into iTunes and restore it to the original firmware before you take it into Apple to get serviced. So with that said, here we go. And yes, I mean for the for what I just said, even if it's under warranty. So for what I just said, here we go. When you plug it in and you have your Parallels desktop running, you should get a window that looks like this that says New External Device Detected. You'll want to select Windows. Because that's how it knows to connect it to the Windows portion, not the Mac portion. Oh yeah, and one more thing. You have to install iTunes on your Windows portion, which can be a bit of a pain because it gets messed up during installation and you might have to install these files right here manually. So once you've done all that, open this program, and it's going to like find iTunes and find your iPhone and stuff. And Once I click this button, it should start the installation process. And this will install CIDA and all these things on my uh, my phone. I can't record past this part, unfortunately, but it will go it will go into like a spinning blue timer where the where the installation is in process. So I'm gonna have to start recording for now. And I'll show you the effect once my how it's installed CIDA on my phone once uh, I'm done. So basically, when it, when you get to like the little connector symbol, yeah, you, you have to restart your phone. And as you can see, CIDA's checked here. This here is their little third-party store. I'm gonna uncheck this, and because you know, I don't really want that. And And, um, just click this button, and I can't record the path at this point, I'm serious this time, so bye. So yeah, now as you can see, uh, Sida is on my, or Sida is on my phone. That, hope you enjoyed the video, if they do make a Mac program for this, uh, I'll show you, I'll make another video, I guess, um, if you have any requests, or, uh, questions, ask me how to do stuff, leave a comment, like, subscribe, Help you, have a nice day. This is What's Up 290, and I'm signing off.